Hi everyone and welcome to Icon, it's Kosho and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful summer wedding makeup look. I really like this look because it's using some really beautiful pinks and earthy coral tones and I feel like you can wear it for any wedding any time of the year. So if you would like to see how to get this makeup look then let's get started. So I'm going to first start off with my base and the foundation that I'm going to be using is this L'Oreal Lumi Magique one because it gives you the slightest bit of glow but it's also really good coverage as well. The concealer that I'm going to be using is the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. Now I really like doing this because it looks amazing in photography as well. And we know we're going to be taking lots of selfies and lots of pictures during the wedding season. I like to make a triangle shape underneath my eyes like this and then I fill the gap in. And do the same on the other eye. Now I'm going to also add this on my forehead. I'm going to draw three lines here and then drag it down the center and bridge of our nose. And then whatever's left on the wand, we're gonna pop some onto our chin and also our cupid's bow. So all these places will look higher up than the rest. And I'm just gonna blend all of this away with this Zoeva brush. And what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna move the product around all over your face. You wanna make sure that it's kind of in that area. So now we're going to set all of those areas using this Kick Ass Powder by Soap and Glory. And this has got a slight yellow kind of tint to it, so it will help with the highlighting effect as well. Tap off any excess and then just press it in to the areas that we have concealed and highlighted. And this will also help the product not to budge and it will also help it not to crease as well. So now I'm going to move on to my eyes and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my brows and the product that I'm going to be using is this Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So what I like to do is I like to start off at the bottom of my brow first and then carve out the top and then simply start filling in the lines. So now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow base and the base that I'm going to be using is this Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Lemon Drop. And what I like to do is I like to put a little bit on my finger and then apply it at the same time, like this. And this will basically help the eyeshadow last all day and all night without creasing. So I'm going to be using this Nude Dude palette by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm going to take this shade called Fabulous here to highlight my brow bone. Do the same on the other eye. Now I'm going to go in with Flawless which is this gorgeous matte shade and I'm going to add it to my crease as a really nice transition colour. I love using a transition colour because it helps all of the colours in your eyes blend in together. And you want to make sure that you're using a fluffy brush for this. I wanted to go for a bit of a rose gold kind of eye for this look, so I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Yogurt and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. And this is a really creamy shade and it's really beautiful for weddings and the summertime. You want to make sure you don't go too high up into your crease colour either. Now to intensify that shade slightly, I'm going to add a little bit of flirty straight on top. And this is a really nice pinky purpley colour. And you want to pack the colour on, so you want to almost press it onto your eyes rather than dragging it. This will also help with any kind of fallout. Now we're going to move on to a winged eye and I'm going to be using this Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in a brown shade. I find that using browns gives it a really nice soft effect. So I'm making the wing quite thick and you want to kind of aim towards your temples. And then you want to drag that colour into the eyes. Now I took so many years to perfect this. So if you don't get this in one take, just keep practicing. At the end, I always like to try and make sure that both eyes are looking the same. And the mascara that I'm going to use is the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. 
and I'm going to add about two layers of this on. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this dark brown shade here called Fine. I'm going to use a pencil brush to smoke that out underneath. And it kind of balances the top and the bottom part of your eyes out. For tight lining my upper and lower line, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Zero Eyeliner for that. And I really like this one because it's super, super creamy and it doesn't really hurt my eyes when I use it. The final step on the eyes is to add a little bit of mascara to the bottom lashes. For contouring and highlighting, I'm going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Highlight Palette. So I'm going to go in with the Sculpt shade first, and we're going to carve out our cheekbones and give ourselves a little bit of a contour. And I'm also going to add this all around my hairline, just to give the face a little bit more warmth. Then I'm going to use the same palette for the highlight on the tops of my cheeks, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin and cupid's bow. And this just adds light to the centre of your face. For blusher I'm going to use a NARS blusher and it's in the shade Liberté which is a really gorgeous corally shade. I'm just going to add a little bit of it on our cheeks. And then I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and just blend that all away so that there are no harsh lines. Now onto lips and I'm going to first line them using Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And I'm also going to fill them in as well and this will just help the lipstick last a lot longer. And now I'm going to top that up with this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Sexy Sienna, which is a really nice coral shade. Now for the final step, and what we want to make sure is that all of this hard work that we've done for our makeup is not going to budge all day and night. So we're going to be using this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray all over our face and give that a good spray so that none of it's going to move and it's going to be looking great. And that is the final makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's definitely a makeup look that can take you from day to night as well. And if you'd like to see my last tutorial, then don't forget to check that link right there. And whilst you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all very soon. Bye.